Hello folks, welcome back. In this video we are going to change the default controller because so far when you go to the home page you get this crazy welcome to code igniter thing here, you know? So obviously that's no good. We're going to change that so that our glorious, glorious content management system actually displays the proper content on a nice uh, page that looks a little bit like this eventually, okay? So that's the kind of vibe with the the home page, or that's going to be the vibe with the home page, okay? So we are going to change the default controller. However, before we do that, listen folks, I have no notes, and as a matter of fact, I'm just making this up as I go along. And sometimes, you, you know, when you're doing a thing as big as this, you can say to yourself, man, maybe we should have done uh, that bit a little bit differently, you know? And there's a couple of things that I'd like to tweak. I really hope you don't mind and it won't take long, okay? The first thing that I'd like to tweak, if that's okay, is just this. I'm not entirely happy with additional options at the top. But this should really be down here, you know? Now, I know that store items has... A thing at the top with some buttons, but it kind of works for store items. I don't think it works here, you know? So, uh, I hope you'll forgive me, but I would like to change that, right? So, I'm going to open up Web Pages Create, and changing the position of that is remarkably simple. All we have to do is copy uh, this thing here, like so. Head on to the very bottom of the page, like so. Add our opening PHP tag, paste in, and that's it. Okay, so if we hit refresh, now we've got, you know, when you go to CMS, you edit a page, now the additional options are down here, and I just think that's a better uh, place for those buttons to be, you know? So that was the first tweak. The second tweak I wanted to do, uh, and there are only two tweaks, okay? But the second one is slightly more complicated, and let me just explain the second tweak. You know, I was looking at this uh, page here, and you know that you can select things and all of that. Here you go, I've made it like quite large text here. You can do all sorts of things with this what you see is what you get thing. It's fantastic, okay? And I was looking at this and I thought to myself, well, what is the point of the page headline field? I thought, what does this actually do, this page headline? And I thought, well, obviously it puts a headline on the top of the pages, right? Now, don't mistake it with page title. That's for the search engines and all that. But page headline. And I thought, well, if you're going to do a page headline, why not just say... Here is a page headline. And actually, you can very easily use this here. You know, so you can write here is a page headline and just select H1. And there's a headline. And look, even when you submit this, it remembers it's a page headline. And in fact, not only that, but maybe some pages, I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll build a page someday where you don't want a big headline. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought this is actually uncool. I don't think we need this, so I do hope you don't mind, but I'm going to remove this page headline thing completely, okay? It will only take two minutes, just relax. Here's how we do this. We go into the page uh, structure, we select headline, page headline, we hit drop, okay? I've now removed it from the table, it's as simple as that, folks. Then we go to the web pages module, and we do a search for page headline. You'll probably find it's in three different places or three different files. So I'm just going to search for page headline. Here it is here. It appears three times here, I think. So there's one, there's two, and there is three. Okay, so I'm just taking it out. And that's that. It also appears in the create thing. So we're going to take it out here. We don't need it in the form anymore. Man, this is so embarrassing, you know. And finally, it appears in, uh, on the manage page. So we've got it on the table here. It says headline. I'm going to change that to page title, actually. And instead of having the page headline, we'll just have the page title, okay? So uh, if we go to our CMS, right? 
here is the CMS, thank you very much. I'm going to create a new web page and uh, some other page. Here's the keywords, here's the description, here's the content, submit. Page was successfully created, let's update the page. Page was successfully updated, everything is fantastic, okay? So I do apologise, I just want, I want to do this right, you know what I mean? Uh, so thanks again. So let's change the default controller, that's why we're here, okay? Okay, so at the moment, the uh, controller that loads up is this crazy welcome to code igniter thing, okay? And that is being called from a file called roots that lives inside config or routes if you want, right? Uh, so I'm going to open up that file and I'm going to scroll down and you can see that it says default controller welcome, okay? I'm going to change this so that the default controller goes to one of our modules. Now, in the past, I've called this custom page. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but the thought occurred to me that uh, custom page is not very descriptive. And if you look at this in two years' time and you wonder, how does this all work? I think it would be nice if we used naming conventions that are semi, that are semi-meaningful. So I'm going to uh, make the default controller not welcome. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not going to be called welcome, right? It, it will not be that. I'm going to call it uh, default underscore module, okay? Like I said, it's exactly the same vibe as in the CMS tutorial that's on YouTube somewhere. I'm just going to call it a more meaningful name here, okay? Default module. So let's make the default module thing up. Uh, we head into the modules folder here. We just duplicate this son of a gun. We rename to default underscore module, okay? And I'm going to delete models and views. We do not need those, okay? So we'll move those. And we'll go back in here. Open up the default module. And we're just going to set this up as usual. Renaming to default module. I'm going to get this section at the top, default module, okay, we'll delete all of this stuff out, and in fact, let's be super, super cool and leave a little comment, this is, this is the module that loads by default, okay, and we're going to add a little function in here called index, like so. By the way, the thoughts just occurred to me that maybe I should have done that with these. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's not worry about that. Um, echo, this is the default module. Okay, so if we now refresh this page here, you'll see that it now goes to the default module, okay? We want this to work for all of the stuff that's on the content management system. Um, and as a matter of fact, even if someone does an error like this, we actually, believe it or not, uh, uh, would like this to be handled by the default module. We're using modules here, it's kind of a cool vibe. So, although it seems a bit crazy, I'm going to ask you to copy this default module thing into the 404 override, okay? Now, I know that seems a bit strange and you're like, man, what's going on? But stay cool, stay cool. There is a method behind the madness. Just trust me, okay? So we want default module, default module, save. And if we refresh the junk page, it still goes to the default module. We have a whole load of things going to the default module. Make no mistake, store items is still going to load as normal, but at least we now have this default module ready to rock. In the next video, hopefully we can wrap this all up and have our content management system working. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye. Ding, 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 ding.